Hey guys, back at the bus again today. We're gonna work on removing the heaters today. That's the biggest goal. So right now we're just gonna disconnect the coolant lines from the back of the engine so we can take the heaters out on the inside of the bus. Our coolant right. lines come from this back corner of the bus. So basically then you just gotta follow them down. So we got this one line that comes up here and then there's a shutoff valve right here. It's just a half turn, or sorry, quarter turn to shut it off. And then the other one, starting back here, comes down and then all the way up and around. And it's right here. And again, it's just a quarter turn to shut it off. So we're gonna be taking out the heaters right now. Um, looks like, uh, have some wiring we just have to disconnect here and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to minimize the obviously the coolant being dumped on the floor so i thought of we just stuck these in a tub and then we undid it here then the um, coolant would drain into the tub without getting all over the floor. So let's uh, let's hope that works. taking out the pump for the coolant lines for the heaters uh, back in the engine compartment. So we're gonna disconnect this line right here, cut it, and then it'll feed, we'll just do a loop back system, it'll feed right up into there. We'll disconnect that line up there, disconnect this pump, and then the line that runs all the way to the heaters on the inside of the bus. Now I'm going to reconnect this one. To that, because it's still dripping. To this. Okay. So I'm going to have to cut this back down a little bit more. It's a long hose. You can cut it back more. Um, I want to see if it's going to... And now you're going to use that clamp. Yeah, Scoot it I'll down just over there. that clamp. That should be fine. And this to the pump. Mm -hmm. And then there is one that came from the pump up to here. Mm -hmm. And so this one that was going to the pump is now, it's just kind of fed back into it. It's just kind of looped back into it itself. Got it. So now you put that clamp back on there. You hold it and it's and just mixing a loop instead of a give and take system, right? Yep. Cool. <clears throat> so now, just gonna unbolt this bracket and we should be able to take that off. So right here is the coolant lines that tuck under the driver's seat and then they just run along the edge of the bus kind of right along here come down because we have a heater up in the front for the driver and so that we have to cut these lines to get them complete to get them completely out of the bus. Thank you. 
Looks like I'm driving home naked. Yes, so. plug or anything. <laughs> you just gotta cut it. <laughs> Unfortunately that one went that way. <sighs> <laughs> but you did it and you didn't get any on my phone. <laughs> Except I got a wet leg now. Oh my gosh. I told you. Well now we can uh, just let this kind of do its thing. So the final thing we have to do here is pull the tubes from inside the bus that run the length of the bus and remove this front heater, which was just for the front. Yes. And then we are done. So Shane is down there disconnecting the heater that we showed you in the front part of the bus. And this is the like control panel for the heater system. So I am gonna take that apart so we have better access to the wires and can do a better job of disconnecting so that. Now that I have a good view of what the wires are that run down to the heater down there, this is a hose that connected up here that I can go ahead and, well, it's attached to this faceplate, so I can just start unsnapping things and pull this out. All right, so we have all the hoses down below, disconnected, cut, rerouted, all that jazz. Um, and now I'm inside behind the driver's seat here, and I need to undo that clamp down there if you can see it. And then we're gonna pull the hoses up. We've already drained them all out. Pull the hoses up, get them in a garbage bag and then remove the front heater. And then we're done with the heater system. So um, we got the heater here in the very front. So basically all I did is I um, followed the cables that came from this side. They wrapped around the back side of the heater and I just cut them off because we're not going to be using it again. They ran all the way to a control panel that was right here. Dismantled that um, and cut those as well. That way we could pull it all out. Um, we took off the metal that was covering everything, the decorative type look with the handle. It was here for walking up. Um, and now this is basically the last bit. I thought it might've been um, bolted in or screwed in somehow, but luckily it wasn't. And so I gave it a little wiggle um, and it's breaking free. So let's uh, get the rest of it out. And there's uh, your front heater removal. All right, so we just finished taking out the hose lines for the radiator and the heaters and the coolant. We ended up draining five gallons out of the hoses and the heaters. So with those five gallons that came out, um, after I did the reloop on the um, coolant lines, I forgot to open them back up. So when I started the bus, we got a warning light. So first point, open up those uh, lines back up after you do that loop back system and connect it. Second, we drained five gallons. Uh, didn't think about that. So after I opened those valves back up and started the bus again, it was still alarming at us. And I was like, oh man, I messed something up. But then uh, we remembered, hey, we drained out five gallons. So we went and got two more gallons of coolant, um, filled it up and started the bus up again and everything's working fine. So heaters are done 100% checked off the list. <laughs> 